Hello, hello, bookish babes. I am here today while gone in Costa Rica, actually. I am pre-recording this so that then this can come out while I'm gone with the most popular trend that is out right now. And that is creating a Kindle lock screen, a custom Kindle lock screen. So I actually have to give all of the credit over to the lit homebody she did this on both her tiktok and her instagram but it isn't on youtube and so i wanted to do a how to with um her inspiration for that so thank you to her shout out so the first thing that you are going to need to do is have all of the ads removed from your kindle and this isn't super hard. You can do one of two things. You can either just go in and pay for it. Like straight up, it's like 15 or $20 and you don't get any more ads and all as well. Or you can go through and message Amazon customer support. Sometimes they're nice enough to take it off for you. Other times they are going to ask you to pay for it yourself. I did state that I bring my Kindle with me to work, which is true, I do. I work at an elementary school, I work with a lot of kids, and the things that I read just aren't appropriate for that. So like, what they were advertising wasn't appropriate for me. I use Kindle a lot for other things, and so they were nice enough to just take it off for me, but I also know that they have not been doing that for everybody, so just be aware. You might have to pay for it, um, but if you are kind and ask nicely, maybe have like a good reasoning for it, they might be able to just let it slide. So that is the first step, and then the second step, you are going to need your computer, so get that ready. Okay, so once you have your Kindle ads removed from your Kindle, then you're going to need a couple of different websites. All of the websites I'm including down in the description so you don't have to like zoom in to try to find them or anything. The first one you're going to need is canva.com. You don't need a pro account, you just need a regular one that's completely fine. I have a couple of other pages open that I'm going to use later in this video, um, convertio.co, that's going to be your second one, and then an onlineconverter.com, and amazon.com slash send to Kindle. So you're going to start on Canva, and you're going to hit create a design, and you can pretty much open anything. I like to open a poster and change the background from white to black so kindles are in black and white and so it is best to start with a back background black background and then white things on top of it so i just like to search for white design elements and see like what pops up and i go to graphics and kind of there's like a bunch of different options. We've got like, I don't know, some sparkles. If I just click on it, okay, no. Still needs to be changed to white. Got like some sparkles. Ooh, I like this one a lot. Anyway, the key is going to know what you want on, ooh, hearts. <gasps> Cute. Look at these little hearts. That's so adorable. Okay, the, the key here is definitely going to be like knowing how to design your um, little screen because that was what took me the longest because I'm, I'm simply not good at that. But you can just, I would just type in white and then like whatever else you want. Like I'm kind of a nature girly, so like the white mushrooms are really cute. Let's see them. Again, if you do not have, see, perfect, this is it. Look how cute that is. And if you don't have Canva Pro, that's totally fine because I don't either. If you do have Canva Pro, what you're going to want to do is go up here to the Pro and change it from inches to pixels and you're going to type in 1080 by 1440. And I don't have Pro so I can't hit go, but that is what you would do. So this is not ready to go and this would take me way too long to continue to go and continue to design. 
this page. So I'm going to flip over to one that I already have designed. So I have like a couple of different ones designed. I like to include my Instagram logo on them. I don't know why, just my personal choice. So I've got this one, this one, and this one. And I will say what I've found is that it's easiest to use like thick or lines like this shows up really well and this shows up really well but as cute as I think this last one is it doesn't show up very well on my Kindle itself so I'm just going to do the second page I'm gonna go to share download you're gonna want to download it as a PNG if you have more than one page just download your current page Hit done and download. So I've got that here and this is the part where you are going to use some of those other websites. We're going to start over at Convertio. Go to choose files and I'm gonna to go to downloads. I have a lot of downloads. What did I just? Mini review three, okay. You're going to choose whichever one you need. I have a million and one things. So we're doing the PNG to go down to ebook, over to EPUB, and then hit convert. Might take a minute, and that's okay. Patience is a virtue. I know we aren't all patient, um, but that's okay. I can be. Okay. And then once that is finished, however long that may take, you are going to hit download, and now it's as an EPUB. Okay, so once you have this downloaded, you are going to go over to your next tab. You should be at onlineconverter.com slash change EPUB cover. So for the EPUB file, you are going to want to choose the one we just did with Convertio. So it should end in .epub. And then for the cover image, you're going to want to choose the PNG that you created on Canva. All of that is the same, so you can just hit convert. And then down here is where it says like conversion completed. Ignore all of these like big ads and stuff. And then you can just hit the little download now. And that is what I have down here. And then we're going over to our last step to the send to Kindle. I like to keep it here and just drag it up. And then hit send. And then you are done on the computer. And now we're going to need our Kindle. So go ahead and open her up. And you're gonna to wanna to use the three dots, go to settings, and device options. You want the display cover to be on, so make sure that is on. And then when you come here, you are going to sync it, and that should refresh your Kindle. Until it downloads, go ahead and tap it to open. All right, you finally finished downloading. So all you have to do is open it. And then when you turn your Kindle off and back on, that is going to be your lock screen. And that is all. And it's easy as that. So not too hard. I think the hardest part is definitely just going to be creating it yourself. So I know that I am not a very creative person. So what took me the longest was coming up with my own Canva design, keeping that black in the background and putting the white on top of it. So that is what took me the longest. If anybody has any suggestions, any ideas, drop them below. I know that there are probably some people who sell these on Etsy now. So if you are also not very creative and are just looking for something to be pre-done for you, you can look at it there. But um, hopefully you take this as some inspiration. And if you end up doing this, 
post a picture, tag me, something like that, because I think that these are so cute and I absolutely love this trend. And that's all for now. And I will see you all for post Costa Rica, moving to Tennessee, mm, all of that jazz. But until next time, bye.